All right, so we're here with my brother, Arjun. What's Thanks, up? Brother. Dude, that was, that was very inspiring. I Thanks, mean, man. I mean, truly, like, I'm glad that we're, like, you're towards the end because, like, look, we've, we've heard a lot of things that aren't necessarily the most positive about our market. Sure. But you're coming out there, uh, out there with a different energy. It, it's like, look, let's, you know, let's, let's button up our tie yeah. and let's get ready to go. Let's rise to the occasion. That's it. Why is that so important right now and why do you think people aren't? I think there's, there, first of all, the peop, for those of us that do, there's a certain energy when you stand up straight, right. when you wear a nice fitting jacket, right? right? When right. you take pride. Yeah. And the pride has kind of been washed out of the industry over the last few years, yeah. right? And I don't mean that in a, like, in a negative way in terms of appearance, because don't get, don't get me wrong, the casual look is in and there's multi, multi gajillionaires in our 100%, industry 100%. doing the t-shirt and jeans thing. What I mean though is just how people are carrying themselves, because there's people who carry themselves just fine in a t-shirt and jeans right. and they kill it. And I think it's all of the, it's all of the negative wins that kind of made everyone question. I call it the Rocky Three moment. Yeah. So most people, when they're asked what's their favorite Rocky, mm -hmm. they get told what? What would you say? The, the four. The okay. Russian, right? Would you say or no? I don't know, man. I, I mean, honestly, I, I like them all. You're like, okay, so you're like me. You like them all. But most people, when asked that question, they say Rocky Four because of the cinematography, the fight scenes, the story. One right. guy died. Yeah. He had to avenge the death. Like it was an emotional film. Right. Mine's always been Rocky Three because. He was going along, winning, 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 like people in our industry. Mm -hmm. And then everything got wiped out. Mm -hmm. The rug got pulled out from him. His manager died. He got killed by Mr. T, Clubber, <laughs> Lang, Clubber That's right. Lang. That's right. He got wiped out to the point where he started doubting himself. And I think our industry kind of started scratching their heads and wondering, was I ever really that good? Right. Was I any good at this? Right. That's what, first of all, was like things slowed down and it was blame the market. Right. Then there was this another additional layer, and I'm so glad Ryan talked about the mental side of things because yes. he shed light on because there's been layers to it. The other side then was, was I really that good or did I just get lucky? 100%. And that kind of talk to yourself day after day yeah. has a profound impact on your energy, how you carry yourself, how you're going to continue to serve people, or in this case, not serve. Well, it destroys your confidence and Wipes you it out. show up differently to talk so totally. when you're not confident. Totally. I mean, it's like, tell me no, basically, is what you're communicating yeah. with yeah. your energy. And I think that's what's happened to most everyone here. So we've had to, we've had to reconstruct, okay? like break things down and reconfigure in a way. Big time. And it's, gonna, it's taking time, but you can see it turning, right? When you're I, in a place like this, you see it. You're on the road a lot talking to people. 100%, yeah. dude. I, I really do. I see it coming. So you're known as an innovator. And I, I think you're known as an innovator. If, if nobody tells you that, like, bro, you're Thanks, an innovator. Thanks, man. That's so nice of you to say. We talked, you, you spoke a little bit about AI and how, like, look, just to paraphrase what you said, it's AI is never going to replace a loan officer, but the loan officers that, re, that use and leverage AI are going to replace the loan officers that don't. So, like, look, people have heard that before. What AI tools are you using? What's your favorite? And maybe are there any that you're not using that you'd want to implement? Okay, so HeyGen is big for us okay. within our team and our media group in terms of scaling time. We okay. can do so much more now that we've adopted that one. And then ChatGPT, which is probably the simplest entry level 101 access point and using AI or adopting it for people that are intimidated by it. It's free. It's, it's free and it's helping us do so much stuff, right. right? Like we don't need content writers anymore. I don't need copywriters on our team anymore. Right. Like we have that. Mm -hmm. So I think keep it simple because for a lot of people this is daunting and overwhelming. I agree. And they feel very intimidated by it and they also feel very threatened. Right. So just take it step by step. Start with certain patterns because there's so much stuff and it's continuing all. This is the wild west when it comes to this stuff. Right, 100%. We don't even know what's going to be out next year. next year. It'll be totally, different next year. Totally different. So okay, with GPT, how often do you use it? Every day. I do too. Okay. And, and I want to just, I, I want to say that out loud to people because yeah, I think there's still people that haven't even signed in for their free account yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I mean, how do you make a post that's engaging, that has hashtags, that has everything? You can literally ask GPT to make it for you. And then you're not going to copy and paste. You're going to put your own little thing to it. But yeah. anyway, I just want to encourage people to do it. So I have to look at my notes. Hang on. This is it. I wanted to. I want to get this right. I want to just look at it. Yep. So, all good. Why do loan officers tolerate being treated like a vendor? <clears throat> this is a great question, and I don't even know if we have enough time, but we're gonna try here. So, number one, it's because that's just the way it's been. Mm. It's been like that. It's yeah. been ingrained in this, right? I'm not saying that they rank a loan officer ranks above a realtor. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that because I don't think the tone point is switched but I believe they're at the top, maybe alongside a realtor, right? And I also feel like the entire flow of how a consumer enters into a home buying process 
needs to start differently. It needs to start with getting your finance order. You don't go shopping for Mercedes only to come home and check your finances and realize you should have been at the Hyundai lot. <laughs> Right, like you don't, you get your finances in order for like who does yes. that, right? But it's been tolerated and kind of accepted as the way of doing business or the consumer journey for so long. And then the other thing is because lenders are afraid to sometimes, I feel, because I was one of them, stick up for themselves. So they continue, you get what you tolerate, right? Yeah. That's a that's our age old expression. You Truth. get what you tolerate in life. Yes. If you tolerate that kind of treatment, as a professional, they will treat you like. If you are a doormat, you will be treated like a doormat. Big time. If you want different, then you need to be different. Mm -hmm. So. I think it's just, they've been tolerant of it for so mm -hmm. long, and also because it was just kind of ingrained as the way it is. Bro, that was a great, like, that, that's a great reel right there. So, talk about, okay, you were stood, the, the best thing that ever happened to you was you were stood up for a coffee meeting that you basically begged them to get to. Yeah. Tell me why that changed your life. Because I was ready to leave it, and I was so convinced, but there was also a part of me, because like, whenever you want to leave or quit something or walk out on something, most of that is done by, most of that is done in an emotional part of your heart. But really the other side of you is kind of pissed off and like, you know you're better, you know you yeah. can give more, you know you had more to give, right. you know you left some on the table, right. but you didn't get to finish it out. God, so there was this part of me that felt that way genuinely, right. which is why I made the call and why it was so important that my business coach talked me off the ledge. Because I would, I, honestly, if he would have said, you know what Arjun, I'm tired of taking your money every month as a coach, mm -hmm. and you should go do something else. Like get a job at Facebook or something. There's wow. some cool companies in San Francisco. Go do that. Who need fuck mortgages? Right. Right? 100%. I would have done it. Like yeah. he would have pushed me off and I was ready right. to jump. Right. But he just told me and then I started thinking, I was like, you know what? This is a new challenge. And it made me fall in love with the industry. It made me meet so many people. We all started meeting each other because of being more visible online. Yeah. And being more proactive, right? Big That's time. how we become friends. 100%. It didn't happen any other way. So it's made the world bigger. Mm -hmm. It's also brought us closer together. Mm -hmm. It's created huge opportunity and it's changing everything for the better. So that's, that's why I did it. That's why I'm gonna continue to do it. Your energy is, it's like, it's just so big time. I mean, you have just this aura around you that just exudes energy. Oh, thanks, and man. I, I would say it's LFG energy. It is. So talk about uh, LFG society. Yeah. Like here, what's it about? I mean, is it just an event? Uh, I guess here, why yep. should somebody come to an event? Right. Talk about LFG Society. So LFG Presents is our event sponsor entity. Like that's who puts on events. For the real estate community at large, to better people, provide them with you know, strategies, tactical things, very similar to what Momentum Builder does in a beautiful way. The society was just launched this last year because the society was a community that has been, I think has been missing because we have so many masterminds and masterminds you pay a lot of money to be part of, yeah. and money is a scarce commodity for a lot of people right now. So the, the access and the proximity is just not there. Like they'd love to be part of it, but when you pay money to be part of a mastermind, you generally are there to absorb. You pay, you sit, this high level thinker or performer or figure gives you all kinds of stuff, you take it and go. Yeah. A society collaboratively by definition is where everyone contributes. Right. So not only do we have high, high level thought leaders, ex-Olympians, coaches, entrepreneurs, like well-known, accomplished people that have achieved in various aspects, but the community of people can share their stories as well to where we can all lift each other up. It's an online community. It costs the same as a cup of coffee every day. Not overpriced coffee in not, San Francisco, San but Francisco in a good coffee. market. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like $2.60 okay. yeah. a day. Because I wanted to create something that gave people proximity. It gave them the opportunity to feel like, hey, I can belong to something and it's not gonna kill me right now. Right. Because times are really, really hard. They are. But in order to turn the, turn the corner in those tough times, I feel community is more important than ever. Big but time. you and like you and I had some private moments that we shared, right? Mm -hmm. And we talked about some stuff that had gone on in each other's lives. That's uplifting. Sometimes yeah. hearing from just your peers and knowing what the struggles are yeah. and what everyone's going through in their own private moments, which Big we time. all have, Big time. can be uplifting to others. And I want that story to be shared, if people want to, with other members because it lifts other people. Not just the one that's coming from the Olympian who has a great story yeah. and it lifts you up but it sometimes is much harder to relate to. You, what you go through, what I go through, mm -hmm. we can lift each other up right now. 100%. That's what. I, I think it's, look, we, we're loan officers, but we don't have to be L-O-N-E alone. We don't have to be that's loan well officers. Said. And, and that's what the community does. And bro, every single person that I talk to that has been to an event that's a part of the community, they're a part of a winning team. Like yeah. that energy, it, it, it's, it, it goes to everybody. Yeah. Human so, beings want to be loved and seen, right? With yes. like the two innate desires. 
love people can get, you can get it transactionally. If you want, we're in Vegas. If you want it, like you can get yeah, it. <laughs> it's true. Right? So people even, even with, a credit card. Even I mean, a credit card yeah. will help you get love. <laughs> but people want to be seen. And in a community, everybody is seen. Yes. There's no hiding it. There's no like being in the back in the dark because there's this big stage and everything else blacks out and figures are giving you stuff, which is important. I'm part of a lot of masterminds. I love them. I can get stuff out of them. But I also know that a community or circles, if you will, are far more impactful sometimes, especially to people that don't have access. And that's what I wanted to be able to create. Arjun Dingra, everybody. Thanks, brother. Dude. I appreciate everything you do, man. Dude, I appreciate what you do. You are changing the industry for the better. Thanks, and it's man. just, it's just, it's all positive, bro. Appreciate so, it, brother. That, that was awesome.